Have you been facing problem with proportions? Do your subject miss the scale? Well, in this video, I will be showing you four methods which will definitely improve your artwork. Those four methods have stood the real test of time and are also effective in this modern era. But wait, before I start, there are some buddhijivis who will disapprove those methods. All I can say is that it is important to draw freehand, but there is no argument against another approach. So let us begin with the first method, that is tracing method. In this method, we need a photocopy of our desired subject with respect to the size of the artwork. Now we need to apply a layer of charcoal on the back side of the photocopy and fixed it on the canvas with the help of masking tape. Then we will apply very gentle pressure to draw the outlines. When it's done, remove the photocopy carefully and redraw the lines again if needed. This method is very time saving but it has the biggest limitation of its limited scale. Our second method is the grid method. In this method, we will draw grid on the photocopy. For this reference, I am using the width of the scale to create grid. Again, we will also draw another grid on our canvas, but make sure that the grid made on the canvas should be proportionate to the photocopy. Make the lines light enough so that it can be erased later on. Now, start drawing grid by grid as in the photocopy. The biggest plus point is that the subject can be on a photocopy as well as any digital devices. The result is accurate and there is no limitation of sizes. But 
it's a time taking process our third method is comparative method in this method we place a photocopy of our desired subject with respect to the size of the canvas just right next to the canvas then with the help of our pencil we measure each and every part of the subject and draw it on our canvas This method is time taking and can be a little inaccurate but we get as much as artistic freedom we need By the way life study is just the level up of this method Our fourth method is the projection method In this method we need a projector that will project the image of our desired subject right on the canvas and we draw outlines very carefully depending on the projection this method is mostly used in large frescoes and mural paintings where the previous methods are quite impossible to execute this method is also time saving but it requires a dark studio or dark environment to work properly and size is not at all an issue in this method hope this will be helpful in your upcoming projects do let me know in the comment section which method sounds more interesting to you tab tak ke liye be safe and keep creating